This video is for those of you who are going to take algebra. So this is just an introductory course. Let's go over the basics. Let's talk about multiplication. If you want to multiply 5 times 4, what's the answer? Now perhaps you know the answer by memorization. But when you think of multiplication, think of repeated addition. 5 times 4 means that you're adding 5 4 times. 5 plus 5 is 10, and these two 5s add up to 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. So that's multiplication. It's just repeat addition. So if you want to multiply 8 times 3, basically you're adding 8 3 times. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. Division is the opposite of multiplication. For example, we said that 8 times 3 is 24. Therefore, 24 divided by 3 is 8. Now let's say if you want to divide 48 by 4. What is that equal to? So ask yourself, 4 times what number is 48? If you know that your multiplication tables, 4 times 12 is 48. You can also use long division to get the answer as well whenever you need to divide fractions. 4 goes into 4 one time. Bring down the 8. 4 goes into 8 two times. And so the remainder is 0. So 48 divided by 4 is 12. Now let's review exponents. What is 4 raised to the third power? What does that mean? When you're dealing with exponents, you're dealing with repeated multiplication. 4 to the third power means that you're multiplying three fours together. Four times four times four is 64. So five squared means that you're multiplying five two times. Five times five is 25. Now what is the difference between negative three squared and negative three squared? So in a typical algebra class, make sure you understand the difference between these two. Negative 3 squared in parentheses means that you're multiplying two negative 3 values. A negative times a negative is a positive number. 3 times 3 is 9. Now, negative 3 squared without the parentheses means that you have one negative sign and you're multiplying two positive 3 values. So overall, this answer is negative 9. In addition, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Now, when dealing with variables, when you multiply common variables, you can add the exponents. x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth. So basically, x squared means that you're multiplying two x values. x cubed, three x values. So in total, you have five x variables being multiplied together. Now, what is x squared raised to the third power? When you raise one exponent to another exponent, you need to multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. So this expression means that you have x squared times x squared three times, which each x squared is x times x. So in total, you're multiplying six x variables, and that's why it equals x to the 6. Now, what about dividing? Let's say x to the 7th divided by x cubed. What is that equal to? So when you're dividing, what you need to do is subtract the exponents. 7 minus 3 is 4. To understand it, x to the 7 equates to 7x variables being multiplied together. x cubed represents 3x variables. So if you cancel 3 on top, 3 on the bottom, Notice that you'll have 4 left over on top, so x to the 4th. Now you need to be familiar with negative exponents. x to the negative 3 is the same as 1 over x cubed. So if you move the x variable from the top to the bottom, the exponent changes sign. It changes from negative 3 to positive 3. So x to the negative 4 is 1 over x to the 4th. Likewise, if you have a negative exponent on a bottom, you can move the x variable to the top, and this will become positive x squared. 
So let's say if you want to multiply 4x cubed by 5x to the 6. Let's multiply 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. And then we need to multiply x cubed times x to the 6, which we need to add 3 and 6, that's 9. So it's 20x to the 9th. So go ahead and work on these examples. 5x to the 4th times 3x to the 7th and 24x to the 8th divided by 6x to the 5th. So 5 times 3 is 15 and x to the 4th times x to the 7th we need to add 4 plus 7 so that's 11. Here we need to divide. 24 divided by 6 is 4 and x to the 8 divided by x to the 5th we got to subtract 8 minus 5, so it's 3. So you get 4x cubed. Here's another example. Simplify this expression. 28x to the 4th divided by 35x to the 7th. Feel free to pause the video. Now in this example, I'm going to break down 28 into 7 and 4. 35, I'm going to break it down into 7 and 5. x to the 7th, I want to write it as x to the 4th times x to the 3rd, because 4 plus 3 adds up to 7. Notice that I can cancel 7, and I can cancel x to the 4th. So the final answer is 4 divided by 5 x cubed. Now granted, you could have subtracted 4 and 7. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Now it's x to the negative 3 on top, but if you move it to the bottom, it becomes 1 over x cubed. So in the end, you should have x to the third on the bottom. Here's another example that's similar. Let's say if we have 63 x to the fourth, y to the third, over 56 x to the 8th y to the 5th 63 is 9 times 7 and 56 is 8 times 7 x to the 8th is x to the 4th times x to the 4th y to the 5th is y squared times y cubed 2 plus 3 is 5 4 plus 4 is 8 and then I'm going to cancel the 7, I'm going to cancel x to the 4th, and I'm also going to cancel y cubed. So my final answer is 9 divided by 8 x to the 4th y squared. So that's a nice and simple way to simplify uh, expressions that look like that. Now sometimes you may have to deal with exponents. Let's say you have 2 x cubed y to the 4th raised to the 3rd power. How can we simplify this expression? So when you raise one exponent to another, you need to multiply. So first, we're going to multiply 3 by 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And then 3 times 3, which is 9. And 4 times 3, which is 12. 2 to the third power means that we're multiplying three twos together. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the final answer is 8 x to the 9th y to the 12th. Try this one. 3x squared y to the 3rd raised to the 2nd power times 4x cubed y to the 4th raised to the 3rd power. So let's distribute 2. 2 times 1 is 2, so we're just going to have 3 squared. And then 2 times 2 is 4, so that's going to be x to the 4th. And 3 times 2 is 6. And then we have 3 times 1, which is 3. And then 3 times 3, that's 9. And finally, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 squared is 3 times 3. 
4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4. x to the 4th times x to the 9th, we need to add 4 plus 9, so that's 13. And y to the 6th times y to the 12th, we have to add 6 and 12, which is 18. Now 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So what is 9 times 64? If you don't want to use the calculator, here's what you can do. You can multiply 64 by 10 minus 1, because 10 minus 1 is 9. 64 times 10 is 640, and 64 times 1 is 64. Now I'm going to write 64 as 40 and 24, because 40 plus 24 is 64. So negative 40 and negative 24 is negative 64. 640 minus 40 is 600. And if you take away 24 from 600, you can view 24 as 20 and 4. 600 minus 20 is 580, and 580 minus 4 is 576. If you want to subtract things in your head, that's how you can do it. So this is 576, x to the 13, y to the 18th.